some student athletes with uh, the game ball and stuff like that here at Peru High School tonight. So uh, time now for the uh, starting lineups. First for the guest, Rochester Lady Zebras. They're gonna start as you heard Coach Burris say. The freshman, number two, Aubrey Wilson. They're gonna start another junior, number three, Riley Clevenger and Ella McCarter, the other junior, 33, the three guards. And at the post tonight, the freshman, the number 15, Jake Field, and the junior, number 25, Aubrey Bollinger. The five starters for the Rochester Zebra. Starting lineup being brought to you by Fulton County Solid Waste District. Go to Trash Our Future, please recycle. And now time for the starting lineup for the Lady Tigers. They're going to start a 5'10 senior, number two, Kayleen Kirk, a 5'3 senior, number three, Maya Lyon Dunn. 5'7 sophomore, talked about it. Number 23, Addison Robbins. A 5'3 junior, number 24, Mariana Mason. And a 5'8 junior, number 30, Brooklyn Garner. The five starters for Jenna Hayes, the, the coach of the Peru Tigers, and Coach Joel Burris in his second year at the helm of the Rochester Zebras. Jenna Hayes, a very creative offensive mind. Uh, she'll come up with some different things as in, uh, so, uh, and she'll make some, she's very good at making adjustments too. She's, she was just an excellent choice by Peru and I think really had an instant impact on this program. Of course, she was uh, on that uh, pioneer coaching staff in 2021 when they won the class 1A state championship. Jenna from McConaughey High School, so uh, not a unfamiliar foe to the area. Yeah, so yeah, some, uh, and of course her assistant is Sammy Carey, who's a North Miami grad, so. A lot of a lot of Miami County uh, Miami County. roots on yeah. that coaching staff. And by the way, I see Ray Davis is here. He's yeah. the coach for the Rochester play McConaughey on Saturday. And the whole varsity team came with him. Yeah, uh, looking looking forward to heading to McConaughey on Saturday. And we'll, uh, they do have a JV game. It'll be the Caston JV and McConaughey JV playing in that one. That's a six o'clock JV start. So we'll be on the air about seven ten with a tip of seven thirty plan for Saturday night from McConaughey High School. So uh, make your plans for Saturday evening. On an unrelated note, we have some bad boys basketball news, though not shocking boys basketball news. Xavier Vance is out for the year with knees after knee surgery earlier this week. Okay. Successful knee surgery? Yeah, from what I've heard, he, it was he's here tonight. Yeah, and I see he's here tonight crutches, on so. crutches, so. Good. Out for the year, unfortunately, but yeah. uh, he will be missed. I talked with Ron Malco, had a nice long chat. I'll be writing kind of writing a team preview uh, early next week, uh, but uh, they get started on Wednesday. Yeah, get started on Wednesday at Culver, and uh, really a team with a lot of, a lot of guys between like six feet and six two. Yeah. yeah. They're not tiny, but they're not, they don't right. overwhelmingly tall either, but I think they're a pretty athletic team, I think, maybe. It'll be interesting. I saw, I saw practice uh, about a week ago, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, Intense practice, let's just put it that way. Yeah. And I'm sure they're planning on that carrying over to the, to the playing point. Right, and I think a team is going to have some uh, balanced scoring, I think. Yeah. It'll be fun to watch. And, and uh, uh, girls, yeah. girls wrestling. The, uh, yeah, that's getting underway. Yeah, right. they won the East Noble Invite last Saturday. Out of 33 teams, they won it. It's awesome. And they will host their own, they'll, they'll host the Rochester Invitation yeah. coming up on Saturday. You're going to be busy Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> I will be. It's that time of year. Go from one one gym to another gym, maybe even another gym. Hey, don't forget also uh, next week, coming up on Tuesday night, we'll be at Tiffany Valley as the Lady Zebras head over there for non conference basketball. And then Wednesday night, the boys at Culver will be there for that one. And Saturday, next Saturday night, we travel to Winnemac. Winnemac will travel to Rochester. Oh, yeah, we're at home. I always get this back. Yeah, Tony, always go Tony Stasiak's first game at the Rochester Gym ah. on the visiting team's bench. Yeah. We're getting ready to go here. Time now for the tip 
And it's going to be Kirk and McCarter's jump here this evening. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. So we're getting ready to go for TRC action. Opening game for the Lady Zebras. Game number two for the Tigers in the conference. And the Tigers will control the tip. It's done with the basketball. Now to Robbins. Robbins starting to Dunn. Dunn has it in the corner. Now down low, they kick it over. And that's Garner. Garner's first shot up. No good. Rebound comes away to McCarter. McCarter gives it off to Wilson, and she'll bring it across the timeline. 15 seconds gone by in the opening quarter. Zebras with their first possession. Wilson picks it up. Defense all over her. And that was Mason up in her grill on that one. How did that pass get there? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. Peru and a man. Rochester's going to set some screens here. Field with it now, but up top of McCarter. Wilson with it. Now here is Field. Field to McCarter, left wing. McCarter. Mm -hmm. The spacing is good, but they're yeah. just not setting screens. Field, right side now with the basketball to Wilson. Right in front of the Peru Tiger bench. They bring it up top to McCarter. Almost traveled. Nice job of controlling it. Wilson, deep three. Got it. Zebras lead three to nothing here in the opening quarter. One talk, minute going by. Talk about that confidence. Peru air balls a, yeah. a, a less than 10 footer. And Wilson, it's a long three. That was about two feet down the, the line. Robbins with the basketball. Goes across to Dunn. Dunn has it. Now back to Robinson. Tip by field. And it'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tigers right at midcourt. Inbounding will be Garner for the Tigers. They get it into Robbins. She'll cross the timeline from coming in from the backcourt. Robbins has it top of the key. Goes far side now over to Dunn. Dunn brings it back to the near side now to Mason. Mason, top of the key to Robbins, left side. Or excuse me, right side. Now to, to Mason, down in the corner to Dunn. Dunn can't handle it, goes out of bounds. Turnover, well, Tigers. Look, looked like Garner just flashed open. They just didn't yeah. see her. No, they did uh, not see her. They've got to, they're going to get her a touch. Yeah. Uh, whether she shoots or not isn't the, isn't the matter. Right. If, she, if right. she just she gets a touch, yeah. I mean, she can either score or kick it back out. Draw some defense. And, and help get Robbins an open look or, or done. McCarter will bring it across the timeline after the turnover. McCarter guarded by Garner. Takes her to the baseline, now kicks it back out. Back out to McCarter, three ball, same spot as Wilson, air ball, and the rebound comes away to Dunn. Dunn quickly ahead to Robbins. Robinson, or excuse me, Robbins with the basketball. Now over to Mason, top to Robbins, swing it near side, now to Dunn. Here's a 10-footer by Garner, off the mark, no good. McCarter with a rebound. Good rebound by Ella. She'll give it to Wilson and she'll bring it up the timeline. After kind of a force on the other end, that, yeah. that's, that was not an open three that she took. McCarter. Guarded by Garner. Now they go down with Clevenger. That's the first time Clevenger's touched it in three possessions. Wilson with the basketball to the paint. And she's going to be fouled. It's going to be the first of the quarter. And I believe it's going to be on Kirk. And it is on Kirk. It's going to be her first. Team first of the quarter. And that'll send Wilson to the line to shoot two. Is she the team captain? Is she Captain Kirk? Yes, foul. <laughs> Wilson's first free throw is up and good. Three, or excuse me, four nothing now. Rochester leads. I like the move by Aubrey Wilson. Aggressive, Wilson. aggressive off the dribble. Wilson with all four points, looking for number five. That one rolls out, no good. Ball's rebounded by Robbins. Robbins for the Tigers. Looks ahead, gives it off to Dunn. Dunn, back to Robbins. Robbins, right side. Now back to the top, the key to Dunn. Dunn looking down low for Kirk, can't get it to her. Now they give it off to Mason. Mason between the rings, comes right side now. Now they give it to uh, Kirk at the elbow. Jumper's no good, and the rebound comes away to Bollinger. Wilson with the basketball. She'll be guarded by Mason. Now they go right side to McCarter. Now back to Clevenger, top of the key. Now to the right wing. Now gets a screen, but uh, uh, did not set it real real tight, and the Tigers' defense gets through it. And that's something Joel Burris talked about after the Northwood game. I think we even talked about during the game. Right. You can't loop off that ball screen. No. you got to uh, turn on it hard, on, right on the shoulder. Wilson with it, goes right side to McCarter, almost stolen. Now McCarter with the basketball. A couple dribbles, gives it off to Clevenger, back to McCarter in front of the Peru Tiger bench. Down low to Field. Field goes to work, up and good. Jaden Field with her first points of the game, and it's six nothing now. Rochester. I don't know. Was there like a cross screen that got her open? I think that was just that was just nice offense. 
420 to go here in the opening quarter, 6-0. You, you can tell the ladies' ease have been working on some things since uh, the Northwood game. Kirk with a 15 footer, good. Kayleen Kirk has her first two points and the first points for the Tigers, and it's 6-2 now with 4.05 to go here in this opening quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Wilson with the basketball. Wilson will cross the timeline. Now will go right side now to Clevenger. Clevenger. Looking down low to field. Now they get it to her against Kirk. Field goes up, partially blocked. Picked up by Robbins. Good defense by Kirk. Yeah, she stood her ground that time. Now Mason with the basketball. Mason dribbles in. Now will retreat. She'll bring it back up and give it up top to Dunn. Left side now to Robbins. Robbins to Mason. Mason at the top. The key to Robbins. Now back to Mason. Good recognition by McCarter defensively. Get it into Kirk. Kirk loses it, picks it back up. Now to Mason. Here's Robbins on the left side. Tries to go into Kirk and it's oh, tipped that away. Was great defense by Ellen McCarter in that possession. Here's Clevenger now with it with 3.12 to go. Down to McCarter on the right side. McCarter back up top to Wilson. Swings it left side now to Clevenger. Clevenger drives the lane, kicks it out to Wilson. Three straight away. Good. Three. Aubrey Wilson's got three more, and it's nine to two now, Rochester. Quickly ahead, here's Mason with the basketball. Mason, top of the key, guarded by Wilson. Now she gets by her, now gives it off to Robbins. Robbins, quick close out by McCarter. Now they give it off to Dunn. Dunn dribbles in, kicks it to Garner. Now to Robbins, three on the way for her. Off the mark, no good. Bollinger with the rebound. Yeah, you can tell uh, Robbins had an itchy tr trigger finger yeah. there. Uh, but I think she had to rush, their sh rush her shot a little bit. Ella McCarter playing very well on the defensive end so far. Clevenger with it now, hands it off to McCarter. McCarter into the free throw line, kicks it back out. Clevenger into the free throw line, jump stops, gives it back to McCarter. Now they go down low to field, and a foul coming. And it's going to be number two on the Tigers of the quarter. And it's going to be blown against Dunn. Wow, well, Dunn. The Lady Z's got a break there. I thought McCarter was fouled first, but that was on a pass off. And they didn't call that at all. And then they get the ball to field and she's fouled in the active yeah. shooting. So it all worked out even better in the end. Checking in is Asbel and 22 butt for the Peru Tigers. Also in for well, we'll be coming in if Field can make the free throw, and she does. And that'll bring in Mia Hadashell for the Rochester Zebras. 10 to two on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 2.10 to go here in the opening quarter. Randy and Val for Peru High School. Here's Butt with the basketball. Butt right side, left side, gives it up top. Now they give it off to uh, Asbel. She dribbles in. Here's Robbins, 12 footer, off the mark, no good. Ball's tip, gets her own rebound. Robbins has it. Robbins then is going to be fouled by Wilson as Robbins goes around her, and Aubrey had to play catch up and unfortunately bumped her as she came around her and foul number one on Rochester wow. and on Wilson. Robbins is a good, good looking athlete. She's got long arms. She's got good length and yeah. good athleticism, and on top of that, she's a good ball handler. And she's a coach's kid. And she's a coach's <laughs> kid, so she's smart. She, yeah. Ball's tip going out of bounds. It should stay with Peru, and it will. Tipped. Yep, they're going to call it tipped. It'll stay with Peru right in front of uh, Coach Burris. That was interesting, the Peru girls, the way they reacted. They all ran to the other end of the court. Yeah. Robbins will inbound. Baseline right. Robbins slaps the ball, puts things in motion. Looking to get somebody open. They do in the cut to Asbel. Shot up and good. Sydney Asbel has her first two off the bench, and it's 10-4 to four now with a minute and a half to go here. In the opening quarter, Wilson with it for the Zebras, right side. Now goes to McCarter. McCarter, top of the key to Hottishell. Hottishell looking back door, nobody was there. Gives it off to Clevenger, right wing, in and out, no good. And a rebound to Bollinger. Bollinger, and then travels or a foul. They're going to call a foul. And that foul is going to be whistled. 22, Addison Butts going to pick up her first team third of the quarter with a minute 16 left. And coming in, uh, uh, Maddie Gangliff. Now here is 
Three on the way for Clevenger, good. Clevenger off the inbound. Both teams getting buckets on inbounds plays. Now here is Robbins with 60 seconds to go in the quarter. Down in the corner to Asbell. Now Robbins with it, and Robbins travels. Turnover number three for Peru. Mason will come back in, and she'll replace Butt in the Tiger lineup. But perhaps the more important category, Rochester, zero turnover so far, and we played over seven minutes. 56 remain here in the first quarter. Zebras get the inbounds, and they'll walk it across Clevenger. Now back to McCarter. Obviously, you're going to guess uh, Rochester trying to hold it for the last shot of the quarter, if possible. Right, Rochester does have the arrow when it comes to that, so outside chance of the double possession, but you got to be able to hold the ball here. 35 more yeah. seconds to go. Clevenger with it. Clevenger and McCarter at the top, and then Peru's in that stingy man. They do get it back to McCarter, and now back to Clevenger with 24. Yeah, you can tell Robbins is also their best defender on top of everything else. <laughs> There's McCarter, jump stop, going to have to get rid of it. Finally does to Hottishell, and stole it, last touch. It's going to stay with Rochester as it comes off the leg of Gatliff. 14.7 seconds to go. Wilson will inbound for the Zebras. Robbins isn't losing, losing Clevenger anywhere. It's, 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 it's almost a box, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, or it's almost a triangle in two, actually, because the way uh, Gat, uh, the way uh, Garner's guarding uh, McCarter. Here's McCarter, and Gatliff's going to pick up a foul, or Garner going to pick up a foul. Garner a little too close. I didn't think we were going to get to the double bonus, but we might yet because there's still 5.3 seconds to go. It looked like Garner just kind of took the foul there once yeah. McCarter had a step, and not not bad. I mean, not, uh, you know, we talked about that. Hottishell gets it in to Clevenger. Hottishell from the corner, three on the way, off the mark, no good. Boyner with the rebound at the buzzer, no good. At the end of the first quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, Zebras 13, the Purdue Tigers 4. Back with more after this from Peru High School, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Just have it, they get it to Wilson for a three off the mark, no good, and Peru with the rebound. Now to Mason on the far side. Mason has it. Mason now gives it off to uh, Asbel. Asbel throws it away. Turnover, Peru Tigers. Yeah, when Robbins doesn't have the ball, you want to heat up the ball because uh, uh, the, their other guard just aren't quite as comfortable with the ball in their hands as Robbins is. Here comes the Tigers on the defense as uh, Robbins is all over Clevenger. McCarter now with it, gives it off to Bollinger. Bollinger kicks it out to Clevenger, top the key. Clevenger down in the corner to Hottishell. Hottishell dribbles in, kicks it back out to Clevenger. Right side now to McCarter. McCarter with the basketball to Wilson's, top the key. Wilson against Mason. Now gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger, free throw line, kicks it out to McCarter. McCarter just inside the three good. Good move there by Ella McCarter. Gets her first points of the game. Right, a nice job with them looking back to get the yeah. ball after she got rid of it. And she created for herself yeah. there. Uh, Kirk's defense was not yeah. bad at all. No. On that. Here's Mason with the basketball now for the Tigers. Gives it off to Robbins. Robbins right side, fakes. Gives it off to uh, Asbel. Asbel, quick shot on the way, no good. And the rebound fought for, and we're going to have a foul against Rochester. And I believe it's going to be on Bollinger. It's going to be her first, team first of the quarter. Well, that is a way to get, if you're a freshman like uh, Maddie Gatliff, that's a way to get yourself some more playing time. Yeah. Uh, Rochester's defense was pretty good. I mean, uh, nice help by Wilson. They get it into Kirk on the inbound and a foul coming. Coach Burr is not happy with that is because it happened right in front of the inbounder. They got it in easy. And Bollinger picks up two quick ones as that one's on her as well. Team number two of the half, or the quarter. Yeah, I think. Uh, Field will come in after the free throw. No matter where you were in the gym, you heard Joel Burris yell, no. And Bollinger will sit down and field back into the contest. And that's the second kind of wide open look Peru's gotten in an inbounds play. Kirk, second free throw. This one's good. 15 to five. Zebras lead it with six and a half to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 
Here comes Wilson with the basketball. Wilson will bring it across. Now give it to Clevenger on the left side. Clevenger has it. Now off to Hottishell. Hottishell back to Clevenger. Top of the key. Clevenger gives it off to Wilson. Wilson on the far side. Now to McCarter. Top of the key. McCarter against Kirk to Hottishell. Wide open three on the way for Mia. No good. And the rebound comes away to Asbel. Asbel will push it to Robbins. Robbins against McCarter, and McCarter's going to pick up a foul as she didn't have her shoulders quite square and go around her did Robbins and drew the foul. Foul number one on McCarter, three on the Zebras this quarter. And we've only played two minutes. And now here's Robinson with it, or Robbins with it. Robbins to Mason. Mason dribbles in and a, and a quick hand check. And that's going to be on Wilson. That's going to be number two. Number four of the quarter. So for the next five minutes and 53 seconds, Peru's going to shoot free throws. Braylon Hunter now in. Yep, that's Hunter comes a, in. That's and a bit of a concern. That's a way to, for Peru to get back in the game. Hot show sits down. Clock. Here's Robbins, three on the way, no good. And Clevenger comes away with the rebound. And breathe a sigh of relief there. Robbins got an open look. Yeah, and that a was kick pretty out. good. Wilson with it, still 15 to five. Zebra's lead. McCarter on the far side. Here's a shot blocked by Kirk, right into the hands of Gatlip. Great job by Kirk. Now back over to Mason. Mason down to the corner, dribbles him back out. Mason has it to Robbins. Robbins into Gatliff. Gatliff then is going to be tied up. It'll stay with the Peru Tigers. Because uh, actually, uh, Ella McCarty made a nice little ball fake to get herself a look, and Kirk just hustled back into the play. So the Peru Tigers will inbound. Robin slaps it, gets it in. Here in the corner, here's a three for Mason. Off the mark, no good. And field with a rebound. Well, Robbins is a good passer, and yeah. I see why they'd want her making those inbounds passes. The only problem is she's passing it. Somebody <laughs> else is somebody shooting else it. Somebody else got to shoot it. Yeah. And now we're going to have another foul on Rochester. This one's going to be an illegal screen, I believe. And that's going to get Hunter. It's going to be her first. Is a uh, player control foul, so it is not free throws. But the rest of the way through here, it will be five minutes to go. Still 15 to five. Here's Robbins with it. Now to Asbel. Asbel dribbles in, kicks it to Robbins, right side. Robbins to Mason. Mason dribbles in. She'll throw up a shot good. Mariana Mason has her first two and it's 15 to seven. Here's Wilson with it now across the timeline. Wilson to McCarter right side. Now up top to Clevenger. Clevenger drives the lane and gonna be fouled as she goes up for the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two and that one's gonna be on Kayleen Kirk, her second, team first of the quarter, but that will send Riley Clevenger to the line to shoot two. Riley with three points in the first quarter, looking for her first points here in the second. Free throw on the way, good for Riley Clevenger. She's got four. And coming in is, coming back in will be Brooklyn Garner. Kirk will sit down with two fouls. Clevenger, second free throw on the way. It's good as well. She's got five, and the Zebras lead by 10, 17-7. So you want on the line if you're Rochester. Mason has it. Down low to Gatliff right through her hands and a turnover on the Tigers. Mason put some heat behind that one, and Gatliff couldn't hang on to it. Wilson now with the basketball for the Zebras after the turnover. It's a set play, 1-4. Down to the side, now in the corner to McCarter, to Clevenger. Back to McCarter. McCarter around the screen, throws up a running jump shot, no good. Rebound comes away to uh, uh, Field. She's going to be fouled on the putback, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. A little freshman on freshman foul yeah. there. Gatliff fouling Field. That is on Maddie Gatliff, her first. Team second. And now Jaden Field going to the line for the second time this evening. First one's good. She's got four points. 18 to seven. Field with a second free throw. Off the back to iron, no good, and the rebound comes away to Peru. 
Garner quickly ahead to Robbins, now to Asbel. Asbel back to Robbins, and we're gonna have a scrum, and Wilson just takes oh. it away. Wilson yeah. with a steal, and here comes Clevenger. Aubrey Wilson's just such a competitor. Yeah. I, I just assumed it was gonna be a jump ball, but she came out of it clean, yeah. yeah. Good job by the officials not to just assume anything and wait for the play to develop. Here's Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger back to McCarter. Fakes the three, goes to the hole. McCarter, pull up jumper, no good. Rebound, Field goes up off the glass, good. Jaden Field, she's got six, and the Zebras lead 20 to seven. Here's Robbins with it, now to Asbel. Asbel around the screens, gives it off to Mason, down low to Gatliff. Gatliff then is double teamed, and Hunter comes away with it. And now we're gonna have a timeout, Zebras. And let's see what it is. It's gonna be a full timeout. We'll take it as well on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 20 to seven, Zebras lead. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV. For the Zebra timeout, Coach Burris uh, having, having to call the timeout to save the jump ball. The possession is to the Tigers, so it had been a turnover, so a good job on uh, Coach Burris calling that quick timeout. Final score, Winnemac has defeated North White 53 to 17. Congratulations, they, uh, they only play, uh, North White has uh, a small, they yeah, played they two, play quarters. Two, two quarters. They JV, played two quarters yeah. of JV, so they got done early, but congratulations to Coach Stasiak and his team. Four wins this year. They won four games all of last yeah. year. So they've already equaled that total. Big win for them. Yeah, uh, I was there on Tuesday night when they beat Culver. Yeah, they have uh, Manchester coming up this weekend. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Sadie Popejoy, if you're about to find out about her next Saturday <laughs> if you're a Rochester fan. She's a very talented freshman for the Lady Warriors. Zebras with the basketball. Here's Clevenger with it on the right side. Clevenger to the top, hot of shell, hot of shell, drives in, has the ball knocked loose, stays with it, and we're gonna have a kick ball. It'll go to the Tigers. Turnover number two for Rochester. So the uh, turnover, and now here's Robbins with the basketball. Here's a screen set for Robbins. Robbins puts it on the floor, goes up against Field. Running jumper, no good. Field comes away with it, and now we're gonna have a reach-in foul. And we're gonna find out for sure. 23, Robbins, they do get her for the whistle. Her first, team third of the quarter. Good, strong rebound by Jaden Field in traffic. 20 to seven, still our score here with 2.25 to go here before halftime. Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger right side, got the key now to Hunter. Hunter has it, Hunter dribbles in, kicks it out to McCarter. McCarter drives the baseline, kicks it back to Hottishell on the far side. Hottishell. Picks up her dribble, gonna have to get away. Finally does to McCarter, who was, came to be the outlet. Clevenger to McCarter, right wing. Just inside the three-point line, short, and saved by Field. Field has it, and travels. Another Turn turnover on the Zebras? Yeah, turnover number three. Not, but, uh, still two, not a bad Basically number. two in a row there, yeah. Uh, Again, that, that was just a tough shot, and, and yeah, you can hear what Coach Burst said, make a move, yeah. make a move defensively. He didn't make a, didn't make a move Robbins there. with the basketball now to Asbel. Kicks it back to Robbins. Robbins, now top to Mason. Mason with the basketball. Boy, Braylon Hunter's playing her heart out defensively. Asbel, running jumper on the way, no good. Ball's tipped around, and Mason will come away with it. That was the Val Jinx, she didn't get the rebound. <laughs> She's playing really hard defensively, though. Now to Robbins. Here's Mason with it. Mason will go in, throw up a running jumper. Thought she was going to get fouled. Didn't. And now the Zebras with the basketball. It's six rebounds for Jaden Field. Clevenger has it. Out of McCarter with a minute eight to go here before halftime. And here's McCarter. McCarter then travels. Picked it up too far away. Yeah, Peru's picked up the ball pressure here. I mean, and that's part of the reason why Rochester's committed four turnovers this quarter. Uh, 102 to go here in the first quarter, or in the first half. Mason has it in front of Coach Burris in the zebra bench. Now to Asbel. She'll drive in, kick it out to Mason. Mason has it to Robbins. Robbins right side. 
Crew just having chance. trouble finding the gaps in the zone. Asbel off the bank is good. <laughs> Joe Burris just threw his note card up in the air like, are you kidding me? 20 to 10 with 35 seconds to go here in the first half. <laughs> McCarter with the basketball. Joe Burris did not find that as funny as I did. <laughs> <laughs> Slovenger with it. That was it. a crazy shot. That was nowhere close to the rim, and then it banked in. McCarter hands it to Isbell, or hands it to Clevenger. Right at midcourt. Now top key. Now back to McCarter with 10. McCarter gets a scream from field. McCarter, elbow jumper, leaning the other way. Throws it up. No good. Peru with the rebound. Robbins has got it. Robbins, three-quarter court shot on the way. No good. And we're going to go at halftime. To the score on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras 20, Tigers 10. Back with the halftime show brought to you by Odell Lumber when we return to Peru High School here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back to the uh, original five for Rochester. Wilson, Clevenger, Field, Bollinger, McCarter. McCarter has it, free throw line. That picks up her dribble. Now has to get rid of it. Finally does to Wilson. Wilson has it. Against Mason. Good patience. Yeah. Uh, Original 5 4 Tigers as well. Clevenger drives a gap, kicks it back out to uh, uh, McCarter. And Rochester trying that cross screen play. Yeah. We're reacting pretty well to it, and that'll be a hand check on Robbins. Robbins going to pick up foul number two, first of the quarter. 30 sec 31 seconds gone by, and uh, that's a good sign of the Audrey Bollinger's more. Comfortable with the yeah. ball in her hands. We didn't know what to expect from Audrey again after not playing basketball last year and then kind of integrating her into this lineup. Here is three for uh, Clevenger on the way. No good. Field with another rebound. Put back. No good. Rebound comes away to Garner. It's Kirk, Dunn, Robbins, Mason, and Garner on the floor for the Tigers. Down low they go to Garner. Garner at the block. Goes to work. Throws up a shot. Up and good. Really the first post look that the Tigers have had. In this contest, and they cut the lead now for eight for Rochester. 20 to 12. Here's Clevenger with the basketball. Yeah, they need both. Not only do they need Robbins to get going, they need something from yeah. Garner as well. And that's a good start for them. Here is McCarter on the right side. McCarter around the screen from Bowlinger. Drives in. Down low to field. Can't handle the pass. Turnover on the Zebras. Here comes the Tigers. It's Robbins with the basketball. Now to Dunn. They go into Kirk. It's kicked, ticked away. And it'll be a turnover on Peru. 6.35 to go here in the third quarter. That was frustrating because he had a great mismatch there. Fe uh, Dunn was guarding field. And Dunn is listed at 5-3. Yeah. He would have, that was mouse in the house territory, but the ladies these get the turnover on the other end, so no harm, no foul. McCarter has the basketball, picks her dribble up, now gets rid of it. Here's Clevenger into the paint, leaves it for Bollinger, down low, no good, but a foul coming. And Kurt going to pick up her third. And second of the quarter. And that'll send Bollinger to the line to shoot two. Bollinger, point, no points yet tonight. Talk about how smart these girls are. That, yeah. was, a, that was a read by Audrey Bollinger. She read that Kirk was tight on her. Back cut. Got it. A foul. Free throws good by Bollinger. So all five starters have now scored for the Rochester Zebras. And Kirk basically had to foul to prevent a layup. Bollinger, second free throw on the way. Try to push it back to 10, and she does. 22-12, here's pressure by the Zebras. They get it into Kurt, now to Mason. Mason tries to uh, go down low to Dunn and throws it right in the hands of the official. Turnover, Tigers. Mm, that, was, that was efficient. Yeah. I like the official. It was interesting. I mean, Rochester pressed, and yeah. Prue was ready for it. Yeah, they broke it right away, but uh, didn't finish well. Clevenger with it against Robbins. Now to field. Field, guarded by Dunn, gives it off to McCarter. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger drives in, kicks it back out. Zebras will swing it left side. Here's McCarter, leaves it down low for Field. Field shot up, no good. Gets her own rebound, back up, no good. And Mason with a rebound. It's eight rebounds for Jaden Field, but kind of a rushed her shot when she didn't have to. Yeah. And Robbins throws it away, intended for Mason. And the Tigers won a 60-second timeout. We'll take one as well. 5.35 to go here in the third. It's a 10-point lead on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 22-10. to 10. Back with more at Peru High School.
Rochester kind of sped up Peru a little bit to the point where they're a little bit uncomfortable. Wilson will have the basketball. Comes to the near side down to McCarter. McCarter, right wing. McCarter around the screen. Throws up a running jumper off the mark. No good. Mason with the rebound. Yeah, I'd like to see that the pick and pop. Yeah. Uh, Bowlinger was open. Here's Dunn with it to Kirk. Kirk at the right elbow. Throws up a shot. No good. Battle for the rebound. And it comes away to McCarter. Then stolen by Robbins. Robbins will bring it back out. Now Mason will fire three from the left wing off the mark. And Robbins with another rebound. Robbins to Mason. Mason tries to go into Kirk, but Kirk was cutting out. Turnover Tigers. Here's Wilson with the basketball for the Zebras. Comes to the right side to McCarter. McCarter has it. McCarter to Bollinger. There's the pop. And can't handle it. Almost goes out of bounds. She saves it. Now she's going to get a three-second call. Turnover on the Zebras. The right idea. Pick and pop was there. Just a, maybe a little too hard of a pass. Yeah, and actually, Bollinger had yeah, to go get it. Actually, Bollinger kind of rolled on it. Turned into a pick yeah. and roll. And then field was open. and But Bollinger took too long to recognize and walk. Here's the 2-3 again by the Zebras. Mason with the basketball. Now they go to the top to Robbins. Back to Mason. Mason down low, and that's going to be into Gardner, and she's going to be fouled. And then that's Bollinger. That's going to be three. And it is her third. Team first of the quarter. Throw to Tigers will inbound. The tops on Rochester's defense have just been very active tonight. And Asbel goes and gets it. Asbel has the basketball. It checked in for the Tigers. She had five points at halftime on the off the bench. Here's Robbins, the Euro step. Throws up a shot, no good, but a foul coming on against the Zebras. And that's going to be called against Clevenger, her first. Team second of the quarter, but that'll put Robbins at the line with an opportunity for her first points of the night. Zebra's doing a great job of shutting her down. Free throw is good. And it's 22-13. If you'd have told me that she'd have had no points at halftime, I, I'd almost bet you on that one. Yeah. But Zebra defense doing a great job. Second free throw for Robbins is good. She's got two points now. And it's 22-14. McCarter will bring it across the timeline. 4.05 to go here in the third. Now to Wilson. Back to McCarter. Right side. McCarter to Clevenger. Top of the wing. Come to the screen. Now to McCarter. She drives in. Goes to leave it for field. But she's going to be fouled first. It'll be out of bounds to the Zebras. And that's going to come across on Garner, I believe. Her third or second. Nice move by Ella McCarter. She took that extra dribble there. She didn't give up her dribble. And basically got to her spot and drew the foul. Here's McCarter. Now to Clevenger. Three on the way. Short. And Asbel with the rebound. Asbel quickly ahead to Mason. Mason has it. Top the key. Now to Robbins. Robbins tries to go to Asbel. We're going to have a tie up. And it will stay with the Tigers. Nice job by Field reading the passing lane. Yeah, nice, really went and got that. Good sense of anticipation. Yeah. 3.37 to go here in the third. Tigers will inbound. Garner will get it in to Robbins in the backcourt. She'll bring it across the timeline. Now to Mason. Mason has it. To Asbel. She'll dribble in. Turns it, gives it to Kirk. Fires up a shot. No good. Rebound last touch by the Tigers. It'll be Zebra basketball. Coming in for the first time tonight will be number 32, Peyton Weidman. Weidman, a 5'8 senior, making her first appearance here this evening. I'm not sure what Brew was trying to get done in that possession. It, they should, I thought they were trying to run something off the ball to get uh, Robbins a touch. I don't know if Kirk's... That was, not, that was a tough shot by Kirk. Kirk came out with Weidman coming in. Here's McCarter. McCarter drives the lane, throws up a shot, no good. And we're going to have a whistle. And there's, there's three on Garner now. That's going to go whistle Garner. Fourth of the quarter. Nice job by Ella staying out. You know, Coach I thought Bruce always talks about playing off two yeah. feet. She did there. 
It was a, a late whistle. I thought they were going to get McCarter for the rebound foul. McCarter first free throw, no good. Still 22-14 with 3.08 to go in the third. Rochester 7 for 11 from the line, including that miss. Second one on the way. McCarter got that one to roll. She's got three points in the evening, 23-14. And coming back in will be Gatliff for Garner. Zebras putting some pressure on the Tigers here. Full court, 2-3. They get it in. They break it easy. Here's Gatliff with it. Gatliff with the basketball up against Bollinger. No good. Rebound comes away to field. Good defense by Bollinger just holding her ground. Here is Wilson with the basketball. Wilson has it now to McCarter. McCarter now back over to Clevenger. Clevenger goes back to the left side. Now they give it to Wilson. Wilson running jumper on the way. No good. Field with another rebound. And she's going to rip it, but if she's going to get it tied up. It'll stay with Rochester. Was that a 10 now? That is 10. Yeah. Good job of field tonight. On the boards, and she'll get a breather as Mia Hadashel will come in and will stay with Rochester underneath her own basket with 2.34 to go here in this third quarter. Zebra basketball, they tie up. As they see Hadashel now will inbound it. Hadashel looking to get it in. Looking, looking, finally sees Wilson at the top of the key. They get it to her. Now to McCarter. McCarter drives the baseline. Picks up her dribble. Back to Wilson. Wilson has it. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger stays on the right side. Tries to go down low. They do get it to Bollinger. Bollinger has to kick it back out. Clevenger, three on the way. No good. And the ball's tipped. Picked up by McCarter. Up and good. McCarter with another field goal, and it's 25-14. Good quick hands by Ella. Asbel with the basketball, down low, throws up a shot, does Gatliff, no good. Last touch by the Zebras. It'll stay with Tigers underneath. Okay, Peru's gotten some good looks on inbounds plays tonight, so let's see how Rochester defends this. Robbins is a good, good passer. Here is Mason. Mason has it. Now to Robbins. Robbins running jumper on the way. No good, but a foul coming against the Zebras. Hey, Tom Wilson, they said they can't hear me on RPC. So it'll be a foul on Rochester. That's going to be on, on Wilson, and it's going to be a team's fourth, and that'll send Robbins to the free throw line. Yeah, Wilson just gave her a little baby shove to the hip there. And free throw is good. For Robin, she'll have a second one. Free throws up, and nope, good this time. And they're going to have another tie up. It'll stay with the Tigers. Minute 43 to go, 25 15. I didn't see who got in there. Was that Gallif who got in there and forced to jump off? Yeah. And then they get another possession. Mason, 15 footer, good. And they wind up getting a three point play out of it. 25-17. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Minute and 30 to go here in the third. Right side to Clevenger. Or excuse me, to McCarter. Now top the key to Clevenger. Clevenger holds. Comes back to McCarter on the right wing. Ella gets a screen from Hottishell. She dribbles in and she's going to be fouled. And that will send the Zebras to the line to shoot two. And that foul was on. Number 24, Mason, her first, team fifth. So McCarter will go back to the line to shoot two. So the Zebras will get uh, some free throws here with a minute 17 to go here in the third. Lady Z, I think, has set more ball screens tonight than they have it in any yeah. game this year. Here's McCarter's first one. Got it to go. 26-17. Here is the second free throw from a Carter. And that one rolls in. And 
as Hunter will come in and Wilson will sit down for a minute 17 with three fouls. Try to save those fouls for the fourth quarter. Here is Robbins with the basketball. Now right side to Mason. Mason with the basketball to Robbins. Left side. Robbins to Mason. She'll fire three from the right wing. Short. Picked up by Clevenger. And Coach Burris has kind of moved up those wings yeah. defensively. And here is Clevenger with the basketball. And if Peru can dump it to the post and get it into the post and score, tip your cap. But I think they're just putting a lot more pressure on it. Yeah. Boy, Braylon Hunter's playing well defensively in this game. I, I know she hasn't scored yet and she hasn't been a factor offensively, but she's helped out. And uh, Rochester will try to run some clock here. Down to 35 seconds. And Clevenger and McCarter will just play catch. Tiger defense out there putting a little pressure on. We're down to 25 seconds in the quarter. I think you want to get that matchup, I think, with the Weidman on McCarter. I think that's a mismatch in favor of Rochester. McCarter has it. Now to Clevenger. 10 seconds. McCarter with it. McCarter around the defender. Throws it out. Here's a three ball on the way. How to shell good. Mia Hadishel into the scorebook with a three from the corner. And that'll end the third quarter. And the Zebras have a 30-17 to 17 lead as we head to the fourth quarter. From the three in the corner, now they get the possession of the start to fourth. This could be a big turning point for the Zebras. Well, that might have been the possession of the year for the Lady yeah. Zs. They held the ball. They protected it well. And a nice drive and kick by Ellen McCarter. She didn't try to force it. They got the ball with 56 seconds and, and held it the entire time. And Mia Hadishel, what a time for her first three points of the game. Zebras have it. Bollinger now kicks it out to Hadishel. Now down to Hunter. Hunter, she'll fire a three from the right wing. No good. Kirk with the rebound. Gives it off to Robbins. Robbins has it. Here is the three by Robbins. Good. Her first field goal of the night. And it's 30 to 20. Well, that whole sequence was not good. You rushed up a three on one end, and that was not an open three. And then you give up an open three to the one girl that they want shooting threes. Yeah. Here is Rochester with it. McCarter out to Hunter. Hunter, left side, gives it off to Clevenger, stolen. Robbins with the steal. Robbins goes to the hole, left-hand layup, no good, but a foul coming. And it's going to be on Riley Clevenger, just her second, team's first of the quarter. And when will you, uh, will Coach Burris get Aubrey Wilson back in the game? And as soon as this free throw yeah, shot. Very, very, very soon. Along with Jaden Field. As they looked a little bit out of sorts. Here's a free throw on the way for Robbins. Robbins, first one good. So Field and Wilson back in. Bollinger and Hunter will sit down. 6.58 to go here in the fourth quarter. Now a nine-point lead for the Zebras, 30-21. Robbins trying to get it back down to eight. Second free throw good. She's got five just in this first minute of the quarter. 30-22 now on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Basically just some token pressure. Here's Wilson with the basketball against Mason. Goes left side this time to start. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger drives the baseline around Robbins. No good. Kirk with the rebound. Robbins will bring it up. Robbins has it knocked loose by Clevenger. The ball effort. on the floor and we're going to have a... Jump ball, I believe. And it'll stay. Clevenger got a hand on it. Robbins kind of inadvertently kicked it. Well, we're going to see what are they calling here. If it's a jump ball, it should be the Tigers ball. But if it's a kick ball, it's Rochester's ball. Yeah, the official never indicated anything. And yeah. one of the officials just shook her head and she said, no, that was not a... No, they're going to say she was out of bounds. So, but the official never indicated that so couldn't tell what she was calling now they go to get it in Wilson tries to get it to Clevenger and it's knocked out of bounds by Robbins and now they get it in with Clevenger Clevenger will bring it up the timeline 625 to go here in the fourth eight point Rochester lead now to Wilson Wilson back up top to McCarter at the volleyball line 
A Carter comes to Wilson on the right side. Top to Hottishell. Mia has it. Mia against Asbell. Now goes to Wilson. Step back three for Aubrey. Way off the mark, and it'll go out of bounds. Zebra basketball, or excuse me, Tiger basketball after the missed shot. And you can tell she's kind of fading back on that shot. Six minutes remain here in the fourth, 30-22. Robbins, right side to Mason. Mason has it now in the Kirk in the corner. She'll fire a three off the mark. Asbel with the offensive rebound to Robbins, to Mason. Top of the key, just a two foot was on the line. And Mason picks up two more. And now has cut the lead to just six. Here's Wilson with it. Wilson against Mason. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger has it. Far side. Out of top of key to McCarter. McCarter's guarded by Garner. Has the ball tip, picks it up, gives it to Wilson. Wilson back over to Clevenger. Clevenger. Kicks to McCarter, she'll drive the baseline. Picks up her dribble, here's the hottest shell up top. Hottest shell. Kicks it to, Mate, or to McCarter. McCarter, the give and go to field, no good. Shots missed, rebound to Garner. Good defense by Kirk. Quickly ahead to Mason. Mason has the basketball. Kirk, free throw line jumper, off the mark, no good. Aubrey Wilson wow. gets the rebound as it lands in her hands and bounces around. I'm I'm really surprised that that was the shot they wanted to yeah, and I'm not sure it was. The two hot hands were Robinson and Mason. And timeout on the floor. It's the Zebra timeout. 4.47 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Today, because the Knox Knox football yeah, team is doing something tomorrow. Night. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Good luck to them. If anybody would respect that, it would be a piney. Yes. <laughs> Here is uh, the Zebras after the timeout. Clevenger has it. Goes to McCarter. Ball's tipped and tipped again, and Garner going to pick up a foul. That's going to be her fourth. And at the end, the first and fourth. 4 34 to go here. In the contest on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, still 30 24. Randy and Val, glad you could join us tonight from Peru High School. We're on the road Saturday night as well as so we head to McConaqua. Here's Field. She gets the inbound, bounce, uh, backs down Asbel, and they're going to call it on the floor. It's going to be out of bounds. Asbel's going to pick up the foul. Coach Burris wanted the and one, but they're going to call it before the shot, so it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Yeah, Jaden Field walked to the foul line. She just assumed. Yeah. So did I. Top to McCarter. Back to Clevenger. Three, right side. Good for Riley Clevenger. I suppose you'll take that now. Yeah, it worked out in the end. Rochester <laughs> got 33-24 into the middle to Garner. Garner against McCarter, throws up a shot, no good. The rebound tipped away. Clevenger comes away with it. Out of Wilson. 11, or excuse me, 33-24, a nine-point lead. Here's McCarter against Garner. Again, Garner with four fouls. Here's Clevenger with it for the right side for the Zebras. Swing it left side, now back to McCarter. Now about that top to Clevenger. Clevenger and Garner. Nope, that's going to be Robbins. Going to pick up her third. Team third of the quarter. Well, the mismatch right now is they've got Asbel on field. Yeah. Asbel's listed at 5-1. <laughs> Now they go into field. Field backs her down, goes underneath the basket too far, and misses a shot and is going to get a rebounding foul as Mason comes away with it. Field took one too many dribbles and a half a step too much. It was kind of underneath the basket and had to kind of lean back right. a little bit to throw it up. But that's who you wanted to have the ball oh, that's in, a perfect in that play. spot on the floor. Yeah. Right idea. Here's Mason with the basketball. Mason. Right side now to Robbins. That's why I couldn't coach. <laughs> Everything worked out, but but the basket. But the basket. Robbins swings the left side to Asbel. Now they go to Robbins after the screen. Robbins a deep three off the mark. No good. Rebound tipped around. And going to be last touch by the Tigers as they're out of bounds. It'll be Rochester basketball. Oof. That was online that was, by Robbins. Yeah. That, that had was one in the zone. That had one of those, this is going in looks on it, but it didn't go in. Tigers with some pressure. 
Garner in the backcourt. They try to double team at Carter. She gets it off to Wilson, ahead to Clevenger. Clevenger will back it back out and reset the zebra offense. Top to Wilson, right left side this time to Clevenger. Down low, and we're gonna have a jump ball. It'll go back to the Tigers, turnover zebras. Clevenger did the right thing, dribbled down, but then she picked up her dribble and couldn't do anything with it. She needed to keep her dribble so she could uh, bounce uh, her way out. Turnover number nine for Rochester, 12 turnovers for Peru. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna give up your dribble at yeah. that point, you better know who you're gonna pass it to. Here's Robbins, top of the key. They go to Mason, Mason left side. Mason fakes the baseline, now brings it back good, out. Good job, McCarter defensively. Now they give it to Robbins, top of the key. She'll drive, throw up a running jumper. Bounces around, no good. McCarter rips the rebound. Gives it off to Wilson. Peru putting pressure up on the even on the miss. And now another jump ball. And this one's going to Rochester. Peru still has one foul in their back pocket that they could give here. Mm -hmm. So they can get really aggressive here, and they really want to be aggressive down by nine with 235 to go. So if you're gonna be careful if you're a garner, you don't want to foul out. Right. There's Robbins up in the grill of Clevenger. Now they go to the near side of Wilson. Wilson to McCarter, top of the key. McCarter back to Wilson. To, she's guarded by Mason. They need to get it into field again, like you said, still guarded by uh, Asbel. Wilson has it. Wilson. Picks up her dribble, they're gonna have to hurry. Finally gets it to Clevenger in about four and a half seconds. Rochester still with three timeouts left. Clevenger in trouble. Gives it on, nope, stolen. Here's the Tigers with it. Robbins right to the basket against McCarter. Layup up and good. Robbins has two more, it's 33-26. That was a tough finish by Robbins. That was. McCarter was there, I thought. And here's Wilson in the backcourt. Wilson against Mason. She'll clear it out and bring it across herself. Wilson. Oh, that's a really nice ball handling by Wilson. Now to Clevenger. Back up top to Wilson, top the key. Now to McCarter on this near side. McCarter dribbles it back up to Clevenger. 120 to go here in the contest, 33-26. Zebra's on top. Again, it's one thing to be down by one or two, and it's another thing to be down by seven. Yeah. I think you got to give your foul here. Yeah, you got to use it. Asbel comes out, but she goes to retreat quickly back down the field. Zebra's trying to run some top clock here. Force the Tigers to foul. Here's McCarter with it. McCarter to Clevenger. And there's the foul. And Robbins tried to give the foul earlier. That's going to be Robbins' fourth, team fourth. So now Wilson will inbound with 57.5 seconds to go. Here is McCarter with the basketball. Garner looking... Again, hard her. They give it to Clevenger. They won't try to deny Clevenger. But Carter has it. Now to Wilson and Mason will foul her. And that's going to be second on Mason. Team's fifth. That'll send Aubrey Wilson to the line. And so now Wilson at the line to shoot two. Free throw on the way for Wilson. In and out, no good. Who scored our point this quarter? Clevenger with a three-pointer. Okay. She's got all three Rochester points this quarter. I put it in the wrong quarter. Ah, imagine that. Here is Wilson. Second free throw is good this time. 34, 26, 45 seconds to go. Quickly head to Asbel. Asbel against field. She's going to be fouled, and it's only going to be Rochester's third. Again, we'll choose the Fulton County Community Foundation player of the game coming up in the post game. Well, Asbel's really done a lot for them. Into Garner, turns, it, turns around, throws it up, no good, and the rebound on the Bollinger, but... Yep. She was Bullinger out of bounds. Line. Yep, so she'll give it to Peru. Robbins will look to inbound. She's looking for Mason. They get her in the corner. Three ball on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound field. Quickly ahead to Clevenger. Clevenger then is going to be fouled by Asbel. Asbel will pick up her second. 
34-26 with 29.3 seconds to go. Zebras trying to hold on and win their first conference game of the year. In their first conference game of the year, win it. <laughs> Rochester's had a pretty good history of success against Peru, but uh, lost here a couple years ago. Clevenger's free throw is good. She'll have another one. Nine points on the night for Clevenger, looking to get into double digits here. And she does. 36-26, 10-point lead. Here's Asbel with it. She drives it against Bollinger, throws up a shot, no good. McCarter rips the rebound, gets it off to Clevenger. Clevenger with it with 18, and finally going to be fouled with 17. And Clevenger will go back to the line. That'll be all for Garner. No, it'll be on Mason, excuse me. That was on Mason. That's going to be her third. You've been reprieved. Clevenger back to the line. Brooklyn Garner. Free throw on the way for Clevenger's good. Riley with 11 now. Second free throw on the way for Clevenger. She's perfect for the night, six for six. I was waiting until she made it to, before I jinxed her. Just goes back to that start. Yeah, it was. Mason with it, throws up a jumper, no good. Field with the rebound. Field. Gives it off to Wilson, and that should do it. Nope, Mason with a steal. Up, layup, no good. Robbins with the rebound, up and got the roll. But that will do it. Your final tonight, 38-28. The Zebras with the Rochester Glass scoreboard win. Win the opening game of the conference at Peru High School. When we come back, it'll be the post game brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the Zebras win it on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 38-28 to move to 2-3. Peru drops to 0-7. Back with more, Giant FM and RTC TV 4.